Hi guys, welcome to Baku. Today we're gonna to show you how to build a mule. And right here we have a Mule S226 so we can open up and get to it. First off, we're gonna cut off the bands that are on this box so we can open up and get to it. Okay, now that we have our mule box opened up, we're gonna take out these foam pieces right here. The things that will be located in your box is one, the toolbox. It has all the stuff that you need to put together your, your bike. We're gonna set that aside. And then also your battery box, which contains your battery. Um, now we're gonna take the, the bike out of the box. Um, it's always easier to do it with another person, but if you are alone, it is possible. Um, and let's get to it. Now that we got the bike out of the box, we're gonna start unwrapping this uh, by taking off these zip ties and then also your bubble wrap and foam. Let's get to it. Uh, all the foam's taken off and then we put all of the tools and accessories that you will be putting onto your bike on the floor right there. Let's start this off uh, by first taking off this plate right here. So right here you got all of your tools. One is a six millimeter hex key, a five millimeter hex key, a four millimeter hex key, a size 15 crescent wrench and an eight and a 10 crescent wrench. First, we're going to remove these four bolts. And this right here is everything that will come off of the front part of the bike. Now what we're going to do is put on the handlebars. There's little rivets that are at the center of the handlebar that will kind of help you guide where it should line up in that diamond part right there. Let's put one bolt in one corner and then one in the other. And make sure you don't tighten it all the way because then you won't be able to move your handlebar. But we're going to center this so that the rivet isn't showing. Now that I got it centered, we are going to line that U up with that center uh, diamond. And just make sure that you tighten these on evenly. Okay, now that we have your plate on um, and your handlebars are tightened on, the next thing that we are going to put on is our wheel. So the wheel will come like this. <clears throat> there will be some parts on it that protect it during shipping. Um, we're just gonna take those off. So one is on this side, looks like that. And then the other's towards the disc. And then you can see there is two nuts on either side, and then a bolt that goes all the way through it just to keep those parts on. All you have to do is unscrew it, and it'll look like that. So let's set this down for a second. So now let's move towards the front of the bike. This right here is a through axle, and it's a little bit different than a skewer axle. All you have to do is release it right here and it's pretty small, but there is an arrow. If you go towards the arrow, it tightens it up. If you go away from the arrow, it loosens it so that you're able to pull it out. So let's pull this out. Okay, now that I have loosened it, you can be able to pull it all the way out. It'll look like that. The next thing that you'll do is remove the brake pad spacer. Once you remove this brake pad spacer, do not touch your brakes. The reason being is because once you touch your brakes, those calipers will close down on themselves and then you will have to pry them open. So we don't want that to happen. And now we're going to put on the wheel. We're just gonna grab the bike like this, just right on the front where there's a grip. And we're gonna fit this rotor 
in between the brakes. And you just gotta make sure that you get them on there good. But you lift it up like this. Make sure that rotor goes into the brakes and also the holes are lined up so then you can slide this all the way in. And you got to make sure that you slide your quick release in on the side of your, uh, your rotor because the threads are on the opposite side of the forks. But let's tighten this up. So like I said, um, you just go to the arrow. So right here, you're not gonna be able to move it. It'll just go around. You gotta put it in the slot that is etched into your quick release. So it'll look like that. And then you're able to rotate it so that it tightens on your forks. And you do want this pretty tight um, because it is keeping your front wheel on and you will just push it up like that. Next thing that we're going to do is we are gonna put this kickstand down just because it makes it a lot easier to, to work on the bikes um, and you're able to get a lot more done uh, in a quicker time. But let's get to putting our pedals on. Our pedals will come in a box just like this. The way to open it is just on this side. There's some tabs that go into the box. Once you open it up, it'll look like that. There is a right side and a left side pedal. Uh, make sure that you do put them on the correct side. So I'm gonna show you a little trick right now on how to be able to put your pedals on a little bit quicker. Um, all you have to do is just hold this part, this silver part that's towards the end. You go down to the bike right here and you go to where the free wheel is. And that's where there's no resistance on the bike. You're not moving forward, backwards or anything. And then all you have to do, just hold that down and it will tighten. And then you will get to a point where it won't tighten anymore with you just grabbing it. So the next thing that you will grab is your 15 millimeter crescent wrench. You will put it on the pedal. And if you're not gonna be able to get into that um, and it's a little bit harder, you can move it a little bit more, so then it's easier to get to. But you're gonna do the same thing. Just make sure that it's on tight, uh, just so then you don't lose a pedal on the trail. Now we're gonna go on to this right side and do the exact same thing. So the next thing that you're going to do after you have put on your uh, handlebar, your fender, and your pedals, uh, we are going to put some air into the tires. Uh, I like to keep mine around 25 PSI, uh, just so you can basically do an all-terrain uh, type of tire. And so now we're going to put on our battery. On our battery, we have two ends. One that goes towards the top of the bike, and the second end is going on the bottom of the bike, which is on my right hand side right here. And there's just a little bit of a kind of a ridge that's able to um, fit inside the bottom uh, so that it'll hold it in place, which I will show you right now. As you can see, that will just stay into place um, without me holding it or anything like that just because of that ridge. So all you have to do, just a little bit of force and you will hear that click inside the bike. So now that we have our battery on, uh, you will be able to turn on your bike. Um, but one thing that I do wanna talk about, as you can see, this bike right here is kinda of leaning a little bit over too much. Um, we're going to adjust the kickstand uh, so then it's more, leaning more towards an upright position um, just so there's not so much resistance and pressure on your kickstand. So what you are going to use to adjust the kickstand is this four millimeter hex key. What I like to do, I like to get down right here. I put my shoulder on the bike and I lean it to where um, it is more towards an upright position. I mean, it doesn't have to be straight up and down. Um, if you do that, there's, you're not gonna be able to keep your bike upright. So what you wanna do, you want a slight angle, not so aggressive, and we'll keep it about right there. And a good way to tell that um, your kickstand is at a good angle is that your front tire is not moving to the left. And so now that we have um, 
put all of our stuff on. We have our handlebars on, our fender. We adjusted our kickstand. Um, we, put we put air into the tires. Um, you can be able to adjust uh, your grips, your um, brakes, and then also your shifting levers, uh, just at an angle that you prefer. Um, for me, I kind of like a little bit more aggressive one, um, just because I'm more leaned over when I ride my bike. Um, so if you, if you don't really want to have such an aggressive um, kind of look or stance, uh, you can adjust your um, kind of accessories that are on your handlebars. Now your Mule ST26 is ready to hit the trails. If you are interested in seeing more videos, uh, click on this link above me and then also like and subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for watching this video and we'll see you out on the trails.